New York City, the Big Apple itself. Many movies and songs have been written and released based on the city. More than a city of various diverse traditions and cultures, New York City is also considered to be one of the richest cities in the world. It is said that if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. The city has a rich and varied history. It's one of the most historically rich cities in the United States and all over the world. By the way, it also played a prominent role in the Anglo-Dutch War. The Dutch eventually won the city and turned it over to the English as decreed through the Treaty of 1647. When voices started calling for the end of slavery, New York City lent its voice and its land to fight against slavery. It also served as a welcoming port of entry to immigrants from Europe. This is one of the major factors that make New York a deeply diverse area in terms of culture and traditions. As the birthplace of several successful companies, New York City has set unbelievably high standards when it comes to determining a city's wealth. So, you may have guessed, today's question, what makes New York City the richest city on planet Earth? Keep watching to find out. The business of determining which is the richest city in the world can be a rather challenging task. This is because there are several factors to consider that influence the results one way or the other. These factors can influence the wealth of the city itself. For instance, the gross domestic product, or GDP as it's more commonly known, can be used as a metric to measure a city's wealth. In simple terms, the GDP of an area is the price of goods and services produced within the area. The GDP determines how wealthy a city is because the higher the GDP, the richer the city. The GDP can be calculated using the formula personal consumption expenditures plus business investment plus government spending plus exports imports. Based on calculations done by GDP, New York comes out as a trillion dollar city. As of 2018, the city of New York boasted a GDP of $1.21 trillion. The only other city in the world that is a trillion dollar category is Tokyo, Japan. The second richest city in the United States is in California, which boasts of a 2018 GDP of $789.7 billion. Another metric by which the wealth of a city is measured is the total wealth of the city's residents. New World Wealth recently calculated the total wealth of citizens in several cities around the world. New World Wealth stated that private wealth might be a better metric of the financial health of the economy of a particular region over GDP. While this stance remains debatable, it is still considered useful by many bodies when calculating the wealth of a city. It comes as no surprise that some of the richest cities base their wealth on the financial status of their citizens. This means that cities that are at the top of the GDP list still retain their status as wealthy cities, even by this metric. By measuring the wealth of the residents as an indicator, New York City emerges as, guess what, the richest city in the world. With a total of $3 trillion in private wealth, New York City beats all the other cities in the world and is the richest city in the world. London comes a close second with $2.7 trillion in private wealth. The third spot is Tokyo with a total private wealth of $2.5 trillion. In the United States, Silicon Valley, California comes a distant second. New York is considered to be home to at least 65 billionaires and more than 380,000 millionaires. More than the millionaires and billionaires in the city, New York also plays host to two of the largest stock exchanges in the world, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq. Some of the areas around New York City, like Greenwich and the North Shore of Long Island, also hold a great deal of fortune. Of all the cities in the world, New York City holds the highest number of super wealthy homeowners in the world. Even after the total upheaval caused by the pandemic, New York remains as the strong financial city of the world. A look at the real estate landscape proves that New York is firmly set as the financial city of the world. As many as 25,000 ultra-high net worth individuals have their primary or secondary residences in New York City. These are individuals who boast of a net worth greater than $30 million. According to a report from the financial insight company WealthX and the real estate platform Realm, the presence of such high-value individuals in the city is an indication of the city's growth. The report says this reflects New York City's status as the global center for finance and commerce that offers a rich blend of cultural and luxury lifestyle opportunities, high-quality education, and prime real estate. 
New York City boasts of 24,660 ultra-high net worth individuals, and more than half of them have their secondary residences in the city. New York City has its economy based on finance, high technology, real estate, insurance and healthcare. The city is also considered to be the most important figure when it comes to mass media, journalism and publishing. New York is also considered to be the capital of art in the United States. Several creative industries like digital media, advertising, fashion design and architecture can also be found in New York. These artistic creations account for a growing share of employment among the New York residents. By possessing a strong competitive advantage, New York provides the perfect fodder for many companies to grow and flourish. In terms of economy, New York is recognized as the global hub of business and commerce. It is the center for all forms of businesses. This includes but is not limited to banking, finance, retailing, world trade, transportation, tourism, real estate, new and traditional media, advertisement, legal services, accountancy, insurance, theatre, fashion and arts. Many Fortune 500 companies have their headquarters in New York, as well as several other multinational corporations. At least one in every ten jobs available in the city can be traced back to a company with a foreign body. In terms of attracting capital, businesses and tourists, New York City beats all the other cities in the world by a wide margin. The most important economic sector in New York City is the fact that it is home to the headquarters of the US financial industry, Wall Street. In 2018, Wall Street accounted for 181,300 jobs, and it continues to remain the largest segment of the city's financial sector. Apart from Wall Street, many large financial companies are headquartered in New York City. Lower Manhattan serves as a home to the New York City Stock Exchange and NASDAQ, representing the world's largest and second largest stock exchanges. New York remains the largest local center for trading in public equity and debt capital markets. This is driven in part by the size and financial development of the US economy. Several investment banks are also headquartered in New York City. Some of these include JP Morgan, Case and C, Citigroup, the Goldman Sachs Group, and Morgan Stanley. One of the major drives that pushed the New York City economy forward is its research and medical services. New York is the city that awards the most postgraduate life science degrees in the United States. On an annual basis, the city awards 60,000 licensed physicians and 127 Nobel laureates with roots in local institutions. New York receives the second highest amount of annual funding from the National Institutes of Health in the United States. The healthcare industry provides jobs to approximately 565,000 people in New York. Real estate is another driving force that pushes New York's economy upward. During the 2017 fiscal year, all the property of New York City was valued. It was assessed at $1.072 trillion, gaining a 10.6% increase from the previous year. The Time Warner Center has the highest listed market value in the city, with a price tag of $1.1 billion in 2006. Some of the world's most valuable real estate in July 2007, Park Avenue, was sold for $510 million. Hmm. That's about $1,589 per square foot. This broke the barely month-old record for the American office building of $1,476 per square foot. The sale of 660 Madison Avenue went through in June 2007. In 2019, the most expensive home sale in the United States took place in Manhattan at a selling price of $238 million for a 24,000 square foot penthouse apartment overlooking Central Park. Wow. Many people hold New York City in high regard, and for good reason too. The city has provided the big break that many people needed and propelled them to success. With the numerous opportunities that the city has to offer, it comes as no surprise that it turns out to be the richest city in the world. Have you ever been to New York? If so, what's your favorite thing to do in this beautiful, rich city? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Goodbye, Luxcats. Until next time.